teacher, Pastor Tunde Bakari, on Sunday said, the state of the nation today does not represent the president, Muhammadu Buhari, in new. He warned that unless the president woke up from slumber, his legacy was in grave danger of being confined to an unsavory side of history. Bakari, in his State of the Nation broadcast, said, I am compelled to speak out because this is not the Nigeria General Buhari and I dream of dream to create when he invited me to be his running mate in 2011. He said, I am compelled to speak out because the state of the nation does not represent the Buhari I knew when we took that solemn journey towards rebuilding Nigeria. I am compelled to speak out at this point because given the state of the nation, the legacy of President Muhammadu Buhari is in grave danger of being confined in an unsavory side of history. I am indeed compelled to speak out because Nigeria is in a state of emergency, he lamented. Bakari, founder of the Citadel Global Community Church, said the nation's survivor is hanging in the balance and that the nation had been rushed to the emergency room. The diagnosis indicates that a surgical procedure is unavoidable. The longer it is postponed, the more she stands to lose and the longer it will take for her to recover. The proposal the purpose of this address is to present the facts of this diagnosis and point a way out of our current crisis even as we approach a critical junction of the administration of President Muhammad Buhari. The purpose of this address is to ensure that the administration of President Muhammad Buhari finishes strong and breaks the jinx of the second term course, he said. Bakari said as laudable as the achievements of Buhari during his first tenure were. The current state of the nation was a clear indication that these efforts have been insufficient in dealing with national problems. They have been unable to address the underlying problems of the Nigerian nation. The major limitation of the, the administration of President Muhammad Buhari has been the failure to appreciate the fact that the problems of Nigeria are more deeply rooted than this honest effort can reach and that and that was and that's what is required is a holistic and systematic approach to governance that is what it requires a holistic and systemic systematic approach to governance unfortunately after winning re-election in 2019 rather than do a deep dive to address the fundamental causes of a national malady by dealing with the root causes of insecurity corruption and joblessness the administration of president Muhammad Buhari decided to treat more symptoms by broadening its agenda instead we have spent time pap uh, papering over cracks and dressing windows while the weak foundational structures are crumbling under the weight of neglect he said on security, Bakari said the president must intensify the clampdown on terrorism and banditry by expanding support to the armed forces in terms of technology, armory, logistics, prompt action on military intelligence, as well as inspirational leadership to sustain the moral of the newly appointed service chiefs. Beyond this, the devolution of policing powers to the subnational government must be prioritized saying that the state government must be empowered to form local police forces and to provide cutting-edge training and equipment for this force. <laughs> mm. Well, what I can say to what Bak Arya said is that he said this is not the same Buari that called him then that he should work together. Uh, maybe he didn't know him because it, it, the same thing would have happened. The same thing would have happened. It's just a deceit because from what, from my own point of view, the same way the man deceived everybody that oh, he's going to do this, he's going to do that, condemned, condemned every condemnable, but see what he's doing. It's just, it's just came to deceive everybody. Somebody who told you that a, a subsidy is a scam, now is the one paying it in double. Today they will tell you they have removed it. Tomorrow they said, oh, they have done this. Tomorrow they will begin to tell you different, different stories. The same man who said, going abroad for medical treatment is not going to be allowed now he's going on and they, they are now justifying it that he has been doing it that before so he has to continue that is the excuse they are giving 
when they talk they will tell you that uh, the infrastructure whatever that he has done i don't even know what is what is new in this country that he has done differently so he didn't know him he would have deceived he would have deceived you uh, maybe god just helped you that you are not part of this maybe something else would have even happened because i don't think if really tony bakari was to be his a uh, running mate or the vice president maybe kasala for don Bosu because he might not want to go in the line of Oshibaju. but who knows so in my opinion he, he just wanted to deceive you just the way uh, nigerians were deceived coming to tell us that a uh, change 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 the next thing he said next level now tinubu is coming to say extra uh level ha <laughs> I uh, just heard somebody laughing that we are in the next level, it is like this. So by the time we now go extra level, what will not happen? <laughs> Yawa will just gasso. And again, all this advice is giving Buari, I don't understand though. So does it mean all of these things, these are the things people have been talking about. For somebody who is serious, who is really patriotic, who is ready to work, honestly, nobody needs to be telling him because these are the normal things. Because if you call any anybody now, they will still tell you these are the things that are supposed to be done. But why are they not doing it? Now, a lot of people are saying restructuring is not the issue. Afeni Ferry or Anese, they have been clamoring for restructuring. But that same restructuring, some people will tell you that uh, uh, that is not the issue. Then what is the issue? If all of those things that they are preferring for, for us to get to where we are going to, they still will not do it. So what are we talking about? Good governance now, Wahala. Restructuring. Oh, ho. Talk about breakup or they say it's a treasonable whatever but they, they they are deceiving themselves since they don't want to choose the two the good governance restructuring they definitely the third one we 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 must happen because as it is now to provide good governance it is what everybody is crying for now all of you are crying now you are not even talking about um this man is not talking about restructuring tundi bakara is not even uh after restructuring is not uh, after uh, uh self-determination is after good governance the good governance you are not getting it so what are we going to do that is the third one must happen the third one must happen so that's it to tell you that there's a they have a different agenda they just wanted to deceive you just the same the way they deceived Oshiba, oh defeat deceived christians oh let's come and vote for them uh, not muslim 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 ticket a uh, christian muslim at the end of the day what are we seeing nothing the man has left the country to go and treat himself to go and get himself sorted out you know anything we want to like and whatever that is being told he will enter his right ears come out at the other side he's not even hearing anything he's not hearing anything so i don't understand everybody's saying this is not the same worry this is the same, the same worry but when i'm the kind of go talk say this will not be the worry say he must dismay but you guys are saying this is not the same worry so then what is now the problem what is wrong he said that is he has a different agenda he was deceiving you people that say uh, this and that and all of you fell for that uh or what in Namdekanu is said is what is happening, or what a uh, Junai Mohammed said is what is happening that he has a acute uh, dementia. So you just have to pick out of the whole thing. So you want to tell us that uh, Oshibajo does not know all this advice that a uh, Bakari is, is telling us now. Oshibajo does not know what to say or what to do. And also, with all of this thing you are saying now, because even this uh, Bakari himself, I don't even understand him because tomorrow now he will come and tell you another thing. Oh, that Bwari is the best. You will talk one today, tomorrow we talk another thing, next tomorrow we say another thing. So all of you, you are best of the same feathers, in my opinion. I'm sure what you are saying now that you know that the things are not working well. Gaba show will not agree to that. Femi Adesino will not agree to that. Lai Mohammed, they will not agree to that. Oh, Coco, Loretta, mm -hmm. they will not agree to that. But all of them are just deceiving themselves. They know that they have scattered this country. They are only just to collect their own national cake. And that's it. And they will continue to defend what is not. They are just waiting for their to for 2023 to come and carry their kaya but only god knows what will happen so guys let us hear your opinion concerning the new confession from a uh, tunde bakari pastor tunde bakari <laughs>